Hey there, I'm Mark and I post two tutorials like this every week, so if you are into Affinity Software and other similar creative apps, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to play around Power Duplicate feature to create some cool geometric patterns like the one you can see on the screen right now. Alright, let's get started. Power Duplicate will create a copy of your last transformation. So, if I make a shape, then I hold Command and drag it out, I make a copy of it. If I make any transformation just after that, it will be also registered as the duplication transformation. So, if I make a power duplicate now, Command G is the shortcut by the way, I will not only make a duplicate, but also repeat the transformation. And if I press Command J, Command J, Command J, I do it again and again and again. So we can have really interesting results with like repetitive patterns that change the rotation or size. So let's give it a go. I will make a new rectangle here using Shape Tool, reposition to the center. Now I will click on it, drag it away while holding command. I simply drag and drop while holding command. This way I make a copy. Now I will add rotation and resize the duplicate. It should be all registered as the duplication transformation. Let's try. Command J, Command J, Command J again. And I can duplicate not only the shape, but also the transformation I made both resizing and rotation and very very quickly in just few seconds we got this nice geometric pattern here take a look i just resize that and everything is messed up so keep in mind while you're resizing strokes you need to turn on scale strokes here so they will scale down together with the whole shape all right here's our first geometric abstract let's make something else maybe with oval this time i will turn this shape into curves so i can use no tool and make top and bottom node sharp like this now again duplicate rotate and use power duplicate shortcut Command J, Command J, Command J, or co Ctrl J on Windows PC. And as you can see, very fast result this time. Just few seconds and we got the second geometric illustration badge. All right. How about triangle? Let's try to do something with triangle. maybe like this and then we can simply try to drag out while holding command we got duplicate now let's do some kind of transformation on it and then duplicate the process by hitting the shortcut command j all around perfect all right we got interesting result one more This is really easy method. You can just grab this and experiment with different shapes, different angles, different transformations to see what else you can get. All right, maybe let's try with something like this. And let's duplicate this inside the shape with a little bit of the rotation again, something we already did with the square. All right, even more interesting result in this case. Very nice. And again, very quick. Let's move it to the side and try something else. Maybe something very, very classic. How about just a simple rectangle? Drag out with command add some rotation 
So you can add rotation, you can rescale. All of those basic transformations will be registered, so you can then power duplicate that. All right, very nice. Let's try to make maybe one more. What should I pick? Maybe Star Tool. We didn't touch any advanced shapes today, so Star Tool. We can modify number of arms like this. And if I duplicate that, inside, all right, this is kind of similar to what we already got here. So let's try to remix that. Let's try to do something else. Maybe simply duplicate the whole shape inside getting smaller and smaller, but without rotation this time. Like this. That's much better. Interesting result here. All right. As you can see, it's really easy and quick to create those geometric abstractions using power duplicate feature. I made those six different abstractions just in few minutes. So have fun with this feature and check what else you can create. Before we finish, let's try to track back the original shape for each abstraction. So for the first one, this was this big square. Here I got this modify oval. Next one is easy. We got the star. This is the one that we did just a moment ago, a star here at the top, that was the original shape. We just duplicate that inside, smaller and smaller. This one, this one is actually a triangle here in the center, as you can see. Let me just highlight that. So each abstraction is made just of one shape that is copied all around with some transformation. Just one shape for each. And the last one was very simple rectangle. Of course, we could blend them together to make even more advanced abstractions. That's all up to you. Now you know all the basics behind the power, power duplicate trick, so you can have fun with it and create something amazing. Alright, thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Bye!